chance, will you? Make a big pot. I'm starving. Hello. What are you making for? You'll see. Okay. Yes, it's a surprise then. Okay. Morning. You happy to have Uncle Sean back? Yeah, I missed him. Well, that makes one of us. <laughs> okay, I'll catch you later then. Bye bye. Here he is. Father of the year. Did you think that up all by yourself? Just go play with the kid. Teach him how to swim. Oh, wait, you can't. What do you think you're doing? Take it easy. I'm just needling you. You ain't right in the head. Good morning. Did you miss me, big man? Like the crops miss the sun when it's stuck behind a cloud, my boy. <laughs> morning, I thought I was a gunner. I am sure. Yeah, but those stinky feet, Morgan, save me. Forgive me, me Miss well, Grimshaw. We try to save each other when we can. Shame about Davy. Sure. It's always a shame. That it is. <laughs> that it is. Good morning, Arthur. Mr. McGuire. You miss me too, right, Arthur? You know, I'd forgotten just how needy you are. Morning. Hello. Looks like a good book there. Very enjoyable. Well, I'll leave you to it. Okay. What you prepare for? The greatest of gifts. An unguarded stagecoach. No, you simple-minded fool. Bison. Bison? Bison. From which you can get anything. There's some over on the plains, I believe. I saw a couple a long way off. Oh. Right? Good luck. You want to come with me? I'll show you how we hunt one. Sure. Why not? Mound up there. there he Let's is. go. Good morning. Girl. You know, it was before my time, of course, but my mother used to tell me stories of how her tribe moved with the bison. They lived almost as one. Where the bison went, my people went. And they were the center of all life. We couldn't survive without them. They provided us with everything. Food, clothing, shelter, tools. There was a lot of respect. Huh. I don't remember much of my childhood, but I think my people, well, we pretty much moved with the whiskey. <laughs> well, my father did that too. Let's try over here to the left. Over there. You see them all? Incredible, aren't they? We should only kill one of them. I'll keep them ringed in and you see if you can bring one down. Okay? Clean as you can. Okay. Take the horns, too. It can all be used. <laughs> Just wait a second, girl. <laughs> Good job. Stow that on your horse and mount up. I want to go check something out. Okay, let's go. Where are we going? I thought I saw some scavenger birds over here. Just wanted to see what attracted them. Look, 
bison. Shot and left for dead, it looks like. Why would someone do that? I don't know. But I see tracks heading in this direction. I say we follow them. All right. Lead the way. Been dead a couple of days, at least. Could it have been an animal? No, they've been shot. I just don't know why anybody would just leave them here to rot like that. Another dead bison, on the hill to the right. Come on. Shot and left for dead again. But this one looks fresher. There's a camp there. I'm gonna take a look. since they left. Bison's been dead about the same amount of time. So what do you want to do? They could still be in the area. Let's get up higher, see if we spot anything. <laughs> this way. We should have a good view from up here. See anything? Ah, damn it! Arthur, look. Smoke to the north. Could be another camp. Let's go check it out. Bastards. Just killing for fun. Think we can talk? I don't kill for fun. I kill when I need to. shoot those bison what's your problem i said did you fools shoot those bison calm down you black or red bastard whatever the fuck you are did you shoot them yes we did we shot them bison we'll shoot you too if you don't get what business is it of yours what we no! <gasps> it's that business of mine good god you're crazy Look, i got a family a family don't shoot me Stand back, Charles. I'll get you some answers. What the hell are you doing? Why are you killing those bison and leaving them to rot? I don't know what you're talking about. God damn it, tell us you're dead. Oh, okay. We were paid to kill as many as we could and make it look like it was Indians. Just kill him, Arthur. No, oh, please. Don't. I've heard enough. Damn right. That's what he deserved. I've seen enough of this. I'm heading back. Okay. I'm gonna see if there's anything worth taking from their camp. I'll catch up with you later.
the university send you? Because if they did, they can get lost. I have never been so insulted in all my life. Really, laughed at. Balderdash. Are you quite certain you're not a spy? Those wretches will do anything to destroy me. My theories are correct, and I can prove it. I am the leading amateur paleontologist in the nation, and not one university will hire me because, unlike them, I actually have ideas. <laughs> You're a what? I study dinosaurs. You know, big lizards. Are they real? Of course they're real, you nincompoop. And everywhere. Everywhere? This state was once a vast, shallow sea that had the most incredible animal that could walk, swim, and fly. Quite unique. I call it Totalisaurus. Just for now. <laughs> um, I'm trying to gather all the evidence. Miss Deborah McGinnis? Arthur. Good to meet you. Uh, could you give me a hand here, please? Of course. Yeah. <laughs> Listen. If you find any of these bones around the country, send them to my homestead at Furwood Rise in Cumberland Forest. Or mail me the locations. I'll reward you handsomely for your efforts. Sure. Why not? And we'll be proving a lot of stuck-up buffoons very, very wrong. Which, trust me, is the very best thing about science. Good day to you, sir!
Easy, easy. Hi, Arthur. And marry me. It's enough now. Oh, yes. Certainly. She will. <laughs> I will not. <laughs> Why not? Because... Because... Look Arthur? at you. <laughs> What's wrong with me? I'm a good, honest son of the soil. Mm, you're too good for me. Too real. I don't like good, honest sons of anything. I like superficial people. <laughs> you fall in love with me soon enough. All women do. Hey there. <laughs> hey! You seem better? Yeah, almost feel normal hey there. again. Arthur! Don't relax too much. Need you for a job suit. You know me? Always ready. Anyway, not right now. Whatever you say. Hey, Arthur. Hey, fellas. Hey! It's either reading or robbing with you, ain't it? A fella can do both. Anyway, don't let me disturb you. All right, Arthur. Anything I need to know about? Not that I can think of. Well, you know where I am. <laughs> Most of the time. Thanks. You okay? Oh, hello. That last two I had was... Pretty damn good. Glad to hear it. We'll make a cook of you yet. Yes, yes. All right. Uncle's drinking again, and the sky's blue. <laughs> Just taking a break. Well, I reckon break's over. You betcha.